to that end, Patrick uh, took us at our word. He had a question relating to the protests and the riots and specifically about something President Trump said on Monday. He asked, can you explain the Insurrec uh, Insurrection Act of 1807? What are the facts behind the president's statement? So for context, here's what the president said. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. So you heard the president threatening to invoke the Insurrection Act, and that for reference was signed into law in 1807 by Thomas Jefferson. And it basically lets the president deploy federal troops into cities during civil unrest or rebellion. And you might be thinking, aren't National Guard troops already in some cities, including Portland? Yes, but those troops were mobilized by individual states. Under the Insurrection Act, the president can federalize and deploy the troops himself along with other active, mili uh, active duty military. It's actually happened a few times throughout history, like in 1831 during Nat Turner's slave rebellion, or in 1957 to protect the Little Rock Nine during the desegregation of schools, or most recently in 1992 during the Rodney King riots in Los Angeles. President George W. Bush wanted to invoke the, uh, invoke the act in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina in 2005, but he did not. We should mention, despite what President